Dinosaurs often conjure images of terrifying beasts, a perception heavily influenced by popular culture. However, the true nature of these prehistoric creatures is even more unsettling than commonly imagined. Some dinosaurs resorted to cannibalism, while others viciously shattered the bones of formidable giants. Remarkably, certain species could produce thunderous sounds using their own bodies. Intrigued? Join me in this video as we delve into the eerie and ominous aspects of dinosaur life that are sure to send shivers down your spine. Let's begin. Triceratops Tyrannosaurus was an incredibly efficient predator, but there are other animals in the animal kingdom that don't necessarily have to be predators to pose a threat. For example, herbivores such as hippos and rhinos can be just as dangerous as carnivores like lions or wolves. This was also true in the world of dinosaurs. Triceratops, for instance, was an herbivore, but it was still not a creature to be trifled with. Standing at 4 meters tall, 9 meters long, and weighing 6 to 12 tons, it was a giant that most other dinosaurs avoided. Even the fearsome Tyrannosaurus was known to be hunted by Triceratops, as evidenced by a Triceratops fossil with a healed wound from a Tyrannosaurus bite. Scientists believe that this particular Triceratops was able to fight off its attacker and live long enough for the wound to heal. How did it manage to do this? With its two-meter-long, upward curved horns, which made for a powerful, lethal weapon. The King of Dinosaurs we're done with the southern Tyrannosaurs, but what about the common ones? I think no one will argue that Tyrannosaurus is the most famous dinosaur on the planet. It's easy to remember appearance, imposing size, and brutal temper may have made it a true star. But in fact, the way we're shown Tyrannosaurus in the movies is not always true. These monsters could have been much more dangerous and crueler. Tyrannosaurus wasn't the biggest dinosaur. It was 12 meters long, 3 and a half meters tall, and weighed 8 to 9 tons. That's not much for a giant, right? But this North American monster's not-so-large size made up for other features. Tyrannosaurus was fast. Despite its not-small size, this lizard could accelerate up to 40 kilometers per hour. Although, for the most part, Tyrannosaurus ran at about 20 kilometers per hour speed. If the king of dinosaurs caught up with its prey, it set in motion its terrible teeth, which reached 30 centimeters in length. These are the biggest teeth of any carnivorous lizard in history. For comparison, the no less famous ancient megalodon shark had teeth up to 19 centimeters long. Tyrannosaurus teeth were not very sharp. They were rather wide and slightly flattened. They were used to cope with prey that was fighting for life while already in the Tyrannosaurus mouth. The set of teeth was terrifying. Different types of T. rex teeth had different shapes and purposes. The front teeth were used to grab and drag their prey, the lateral teeth were used to tear flesh, and the teeth in the back of the jaw were used to grind meat which was then pushed down the throat. Tyrannosaurus ground their victims without difficulty, for the bite force of these monsters was monstrous. It was stronger than that of any creature alive today. Cannibals Cannibalism is always disturbing, no matter who or what is involved. However, in the world of dinosaurs, it's both disturbing and fascinating. Despite the fact that dinosaurs roamed the Earth for tens of millions of years, scientists have only confirmed the handful of cases of cannibalism among these ancient creatures. Nevertheless, even the confirmed cases are bone-chilling. One confirmed instance of cannibalism involved the Majungasaurus genus. These reptiles lived in Madagascar around 70 million years ago and were considered the Tyrannosaurs of the Southern Hemisphere. Standing up to 2 meters tall, 6 meters long, and weighing between 1 and 1.5 and tons, they were the apex predators in their territory. However, there wasn't enough food to go around and the Majungasaurus were forced to consume their own kind. When scientists discovered the bones of a Majungasaurus with large, jagged teeth marks, they concluded that the marks were made by another Majungasaurus because there was no other predator big enough to leave such marks in the area. Incredible power. Who else could Tyrannosaurus get their hands on? What about Ankylosaurus? You could say that they're some of the most violent and frightening ancient lizards. As herbivores, these armed dinosaurs often fell prey to large predators, including Tyrannosaurus, but over time, they managed to develop some defensive features. One of them was the bony armor plates that covered their bodies. In fact, Ankylosaurus were the most armored dinosaurs that were difficult to penetrate, but in case they themselves could punch hard because their second quality, or rather a feature, was a fierce tail with a stick at the end. The tail of the Ankylosaurus consisted of tightly adjoining vertebrae, 
and it had a tail mace at the end. These monsters could hit with up to 720 megapascals of impact stress. That was enough to shatter the bones of a Tyrannosaurus. Discovery. In fact, dinosaurs were not discovered until the middle of the 19th century. The term dinosaur was coined by Richard Owen in 1842. However, dinosaurs themselves were found long before that. It's believed that the first dinosaur skeleton was found on the territory of China about 3,000 years ago. Of course, at that time, no one had any idea about dinosaurs, so the Chinese decided that these are the remains of the dragon. Very quickly, they found a use for the find. Local healers began to grind dinosaur bones into powder and prescribe it as a medicine for dizziness and cramps. The medicine was also put on cuts, wounds, and fractures. Sides. It's commonly believed that all dinosaurs were massive creatures due to their portrayal in pop culture. While it's true that some of them were indeed huge, most of them were actually quite small, ranging in size from that of a pet to that of a human. Some were even tiny, like Compsognathus, which weighed only a couple of kilograms and measured no more than a meter long. Yulong was even smaller, as it could fit in the palm of a person's hand. Herbivores, again because of pop culture, were used to thinking that dinosaurs were almost entirely predators that regularly fought amongst themselves. Of course, there were many predators among these reptiles, but scientists believed that there were many times more herbivores. Similar to modern ecosystems in Africa and Asia, herbivorous heterodontosaurus, ornithopods, and, to a lesser extent, sauropods, were probably grouped into huge herds that were hunted by the more rare carnivorous theropods. Extinction Over 66 million years ago, the dinosaurs are believed to have gone extinct after a massive asteroid hit the Earth. While it's a common misconception that the asteroid killed them instantly, scientists believe that the extinction process took hundreds, if not thousands of years. During this time, global climate change, lack of sunlight, and vegetation significantly altered the food chain, leading to the extinction of the dinosaurs. There is a possibility that some isolated populations of dinosaurs, located in remote regions of the world, may have survived a little longer than their counterparts. Some theories even suggest that a few dinosaurs may have survived to this day, living in places where humans have never been. What do you think? Would you like scientists to bring back the dinosaurs? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and see you later.